Welcome back to IGN at Comic-Con 2023. Limited Run Games has been absolutely knocking it out of the park with kick-ass physical editions of classic games, preserving tons of gaming history along the way. But their new game, Arzette, pays homage to a pair of Zelda games that, uh, well, many of us have spent our whole lives trying to forget. Here to tell me all about it are Seth Fulkerson, Dimitris Giannakis, and Alina Alambegi. Yes. Let's address the obvious here. So this is um, our Zet, the Jewel of Faramore. That's right. Spiritual successor to a pair of um, infamous Philips CDI games, Zelda games, um, that, uh, you know, if, if, if there were uh, Mystery Science Theater for video games, this would be good candidates for that. Um, so tell me, what is it that you see in these games that other people don't? I see a lot of potential in the games. Uh, I really think that um, despite all their flaws, there's definitely a lot that's genuine about them, and I wanted to sort of explore the genuine parts. So what are those genuine parts then? <laughs> uh, it's a really solid uh, action platformer, uh, and I really like the style. I really like the cartoon cutscenes. Uh, I think that my game really uh, pays homage to that. You say your game, yes. This, is this a pretty much a one-man band? Yes, me and a team of artists. <laughs> and you, is, is it true you actually created like a remaster of the original games first? So that's that sort of like your training ground? Right, yeah, that was a fan project I did a couple years ago, yep. Any changes that you're making to like the original games to sort of bring, make them more modern, make them more playable? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, what do you wanna talk a little more about that? I mean, I think what we do at LIG is we always try to um, look at uh, our people, developers outside of the company to really uh, provide some really cool things. And we actually uh, brought um, uh, uh, Seth in and we're publishing our Z. So we're all big fans of those old CD-ROM based games from the PC back in those days. So that's kind of what, what we really like to see. Uh, the games are definitely a, a snapshot of a very specific time in video right. game history, the time yes. of multimedia. Yes. Um, tell me, um, so, any sort of like cr challenges in creating this specific art style? Are you sort of like actually trying to, uh, you know, trying to recreate the, the, the look of those older Philips C.D.I. games? Right, yeah. Uh, I'd say the cutscenes are like the b biggest focus to try to recreate, uh, but we want to pay more of a loving homage. We, we don't want to recreate it like exactly, you know. We, we want to get there. We want to give people kind of what they want to see. Mm -hmm. Are there connections to the previous game? Are there actually voice actors that worked on the previous games that you've yeah. brought in? Uh, actually, yeah, we were able to, I was able to get a hold of the legacy talent, uh, a couple of the voice actors and an, an artist that worked on it. And when I explained the pitch of what I wanted to do, they were totally on board. That's great. So what, you know, besides the, like, the, you've got your cool art direction, it's, a, it's an action platform. What else can people expect from RZ? Uh, well, <laughs> there's quite a few surprises and some nods to uh, fans of those legacy games, I think they'll find a lot to love in there. So, is RZ running on the Carbon Engine? No, it's not. Uh, it's it's separate because from it's Carbon a new Engine, game. But LRG, yeah. we are we are publishing the game. Okay. Yeah. Well, let, let's switch gears to talking about yeah. the Carbon Engine. Sure. This is uh, limited runs game, run, limited run games engine for emulating, bringing back mm -hmm. these old games. Yep. That's what yep, it's all you about. Got it. Yeah. It's uh, essentially it's just a development tool that we use internally to bring back old retro games to a modern audience on modern consoles. So, you know, when you talk about emulation, obviously that's something that a lot of people are familiar with, but what we'd like to do is offer a very curated experience with, with our products. Um, it's all, you know, like I said, uh, we have a lot of quality of life enhancements in there. We talk, we have things like trophies and we support all modern consoles. Um, so essentially we kind of bring that curated experience to the customer that that's already in a, invested in an ecosystem like, for example, a Nintendo Switch, you already have a Switch, so um, you know, we make it very, very easy to, for you to, to play these old retro games. And tell us about the game that we're seeing here right now. So this is Trip World, and uh, this is actually the Trip World DX. So this is, um, so the backstory about Trip World is, it's an old Sunsoft game from the 90s that uh, came out on the original Game Boy, and it was uh, something that was developed by Sunsoft. Now. Um, we've actually provided the original Trip World, and this is the full color DX version, which is uh, something that uh, Sunsoft themselves actually worked with us um, in tandem to get the, the color palettes um, the way that they wanted to. So the original uh, developer of Trip World, Ueda Sun, actually uh, consulted with us to uh, you know, formulate the color palette that you're seeing uh, in, in this footage right now. So this is not just a 
you know, like a, a fan translation, colour palette type swap. This is actually kind of the real deal here. So we're providing this game with the original Trip World as well uh, in our product. Are there any other games you can share that we can expect to see getting the carbon engine treatment? So uh, during our LRG3 announcement last week, we announced Gex Trilogy, which is coming back for the PlayStation 1. That was a crazy one that we were able to make happen. And then Toomba, which is one of my personal favorites as well. Big fan. Yeah. Uh, we also have Jurassic Park Classic Jurassic Collection Park coming out. So yeah, we have some great things coming out. So the recently the Video Game History Foundation uh, released a report that said that 87% of classic games are unavailable on, on, on current in the current market today, and there's all sorts of challenges for sort of porting or bringing back these old games. Is the Carbon Engine a solution to that? In some ways it is. I mean, I wouldn't say it's, it's going to solve the entire world's problems when it comes to preservation, but um, if we can do a small piece providing a physical product of old retro games that are no longer available or they were never available in this country, for example, again, Trip World is not a game that was ever released in North America. So if we're providing physical products of old retro games, that's definitely you know, doing, doing good in the, in the preservation community. I'm not, I'm not saying that it's going to, you know, completely fix everything. 100% of old games but, are now available. <laughs> but it's definitely, uh, it's definitely something sure. that, that, that's helping, and, and we really love it too, of course. Is there a limit to uh, classic games uh, that it can bring back? Like, can it go through PlayStation 2? Well, uh, right now, we're going as far as PlayStation 1, okay. um, and we support pretty much most 8- and 16-bit consoles and, and PS1. The reason, uh, well, as we kind of get more deals and work with more partners, uh, we will determine that, that will determine where we can take the engine if that makes sense so as the need arises we can kind of scale it out if we need to but right now we, we support up to ps1 including very niche systems like the virtual boy no oh no <laughs> no we do not <laughs> well, one uh, final question are you brian altano's twin brother i am actually brian altano's twin brother we knew it <laughs> we knew it yeah he's uh he's definitely uh, uh you know part I mean, of the family all right, thank you so much uh, you. for putting up with us. Uh, that was Arzette and the Carpet Engine coming your way soon from Limited Run Games. We've got tons more Comic-Con ahead right here on IGN, so don't go anywhere.